Okay, one question, why does it smell like dead booty in here? Not that I would know about <laughs> Hello, everyone calls me your majesty, but you can call me that as well. Today I'm gonna make Halloween candy for all the peasant kids in the village. And maybe we will also figure out what that dead butt stink is. <laughs> Who's doing it? There's a mystery afoot and a stink a butt. <laughs> if you, let okay. I've decided that I'm turning my life around as king and I'm gonna be a just king. Just kidding. Chop your fingers off for not laughing at my joke. Why are your fingers so high? Welcome back to Google Translate. In a stinky nutshell, which that's what it smells like in here, this is how the show's gonna go. I ran the recipe on how to make kids candy. And I ran that through Google Translate a couple hundred times until it became something absolutely unedible. It smells like, and I'm gonna give those kids that candy this year for Halloween. Step one, cream peanut butter and butter in peanut butter. <laughs> cream peanut butter and butter in peanut butter. It doesn't get better than that. Well, you want me to cream peanut butter. I don't think that's how I work. We haven't refrigerators in the medievals. Butter. Peanut butter. Oh, the Mrs. Majesty is going to be very submissive. I am the king that makes such a nasty plopping sound. Unrefrigerated butter do be hitting different. So the butter in peanut butter, just gonna, yeah. That's the sound we wanna hear. This is how they used to mix it back in the 1690s. I've never felt more accomplished in my mixing a bit. This looks creamed. That is gonna be a delicious village cookie or diarrhea. Let's just say we all creamed, no. That's not. A text message. My credit score for one dollar. What is that? Bah. Step two, peasants. Smear over every witch of that own. <laughs> what? So you want me to smear my cream butter? Oh, that witch of that own. There's a lot. I'll be back. Can't wait to be king. I look like peanut butter Jesus. You got peanut butter in my messiah. You got messiah in my peanut butter on game. Everything you see here I own. Well, I'm renting, but I own this. Well, I'm renting. <laughs> no, I wasn't, no, I don't know. I don't own you. No, those hand signals mean nothing. On the bright side, I can't smell death butt no more. Just peanut butter. I bet you're probably wondering how I became Lord, aren't you? Follow me. My knees quiver for this opportunity for you. Come hither. Ow, oh, to hither. A huge thank you to Established Titles for sponsoring this video. I took out a photo of my kids so I could frame this photo of my certificate of lordship. And you too can become a lord or lady. Listen up. Established Titles is a project based on the old Scottish custom of owning land to become a lord or a lady. I'd like to become a lady instead, please. Not only is it a fun novel way to become a lord or give a lordship to someone or ladyship, but it's also a great way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland. Aiden, my editor, you live in Scotland, don't you? Are you a lord? Didn't think so. Do you want to be? You can be. Let me tell you how. A title pack gives you at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate. And if you're into feet, in squares, and you like to refer to yourself as Lord, they help with global reforestation effort. I don't, are you kidding? Trees, my Lord. <laughs> That's what you're saying to me. Edelston, Scotland. Aiden, you know where that is? Will you go visit my land for me? You also get this neat little crest. I was gonna describe it to you, but you have eyes. <sighs> I hope. <laughs> What's cool about it is your certificate comes with an exact plot number, so you can see exactly where your plot is, and you can go visit your plot or have a meet and greet with your plot where you invite one other person to stand nose to nose with you and your one square foot and you talk about how was your trip here because none of you are from there I'm sure unless me and Aiden end up me Aiden you want to go to Edelston my lady <laughs> I don't think you're understanding they plant a tree with every order so when you order a tree is boom immediately don't quote me on immediate. They work with global charities, such as One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future. I know I've said that, that everything has been the best part, but this is the best part. Listen to me, peasants, until you buy and then you become lords and ladies. You can change your name to lord or lady. I'm talking credit cards. I'm talking tickets. You can even put it on your dating profile. Who doesn't want to date a lord? Other lords or other ladies, depending on preference. <laughs> I'm in a dicey situation. If you're anything like me, you're bad at buying gifts and you wait till the last minute. This is a great last minute gift and you can get packages where you get plots together. You see where I'm seeing? You see where I'm going? Scotland. And the first 200 people who order with my link, which is here, here, and here, here or in the description will effectively be right next to my plot or within walking distance. That means when I do a meet and greet and you're, you come over to my plot of land, you say, Brandon, hi, it was really nice to meet you. Lord Brandon to you, excuse me, and you're tired and you wanna go home, boom. You lord yourself over to your property, which is in walking distance. We continue the night by yelling at each other from afar. <laughs> Established Titles is actually running a huge early Black Friday sale, and if you use my code, I'm Brandon, you get 10% off. That's like paying for land, but 10% less than you would have if you didn't have my code, I'm Brandon. 
So go to establishedtitles.com forward slash I'm Brandon, get 10% off, get a plot next to me, and let's just hang out as the lords and ladies we are. So thank you again to Established Titles for sponsoring this video. Let's go ahead and get back into the video. All right, let's cook some kids. Some candy. <laughs> Step three, tree beef. <laughs> Sounds like a smear campaign. Peanut butter starts tree beef by deleafing tea treaty. Vote peanut beady for Sini. Tree beef? <laughs> we found the dead butt. I purchased tree beef three days ago. <laughs> we don't have refrigerators, nor do we have plastic beef. So I guess it could have refrigerated. That's tree beef right there. Is the peanut butter closing in on me? I'm starting to feel claustrophobic. Oh, stink that. Smell my feet. It butt junk. Oof. Mm -mm. Oh, that is a rump rocket of a turd smell. Golly. It's me, your majesty. Did I do the tree beef justice? Let's have a treaty, tree beef. You don't, you don't touch me. I don't, I'll eat it. Step four, gradually add powdered sugar throughout. <laughs> to what? I'm sorry, I should have asked before I did that. The tree beef? Add butterfingers. Okay, now this can go two different ways. Which butterfingers and where am I sticking them? I ain't sticking them in dead butt. Not again, I not for, for the first time. Oh, beef. Oh, you meant the candy, didn't you? <clears throat> okay, add butterfinger, to what? There's, we literally have nothing working here. I am king and I am the candy. Kids, eat, I'll make some stuff. Oh, so that's what a butterfinger. <clears throat> Oh, I'm so sorry. Natural reaction to cut fingers off when I see them. As king, I'm gonna take my own little path here and I'm gonna make a bowl with peanut butter, butter, powdered sugar, tree beef, and butterfinger. When did they make spatulas? Cause I can wait. Butter. <laughs> little bit of powdered sugar. And tree beef. Mm. That should be enough to feed the children. To the guard dogs. No. <sighs> How ironic. One second while I take a drink break. Ah, yes. This used to be a child who backtalked and who also grew to be 97 years old, lived a happy life, and died of natural causes. And I commemorate his life by sucking from his head. Paper wax your one inch balls. You have no clue how big they are. I'll wax my legs. The King Majesty doesn't wax his own butt wet legs. As King, I like to be hairless as possible. Makes me more nimble to chase the kids who backtalk. Mother, it was Queen. What do I. He, are we giving this to the kids? Oh, we're making peanut butter balls. <laughs> Golly bum. I didn't have to wax my te uh, legs at all. If it's balls the kids want, then it's balls the king will make. Oof, that is a beef ball. Yes, there's only three children in the village. One of them is mine. The other one I'm unsure. And the second, third one, they're all mine. <laughs> I'll make one extra just in case all the ladies want one. There's only one. You see yourself over there? It's weird, isn't it? The next step, freeze for 45 minutes. I take it back, now would be the perfect time for you to paint me. Freezer, gah, I'm not used to the technology. Melt the white chocolate in a double boiler with one fourth cup water and heat until melted. Period, 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 period. Into the sentence or into the month. Into this chocolate lie. The end of the month, because it's like a woman's uterine lining physically sheds every month, or it's like a sentence where you end it. It's like a full stop. Like you The next step, two sleighs in a day. <laughs> That's it. Let me show you what I do with hussies. Would you like a glass of water? We don't discriminate here at Brandon Ferris Incorporated. <laughs> it looks to me as though that is just one sleigh. <laughs> That's not two. You have a very skinny face. I've missed you, but now you know my ruse. You survive. Okay, white chocolate in a double boiler with a fourth cup water, heat until melted, period, period, period. White chocolate. I am so sorry. And let that be a lesson to me. Do not trip over dead people. Dead butt? I mustn't. The king mustn't be caught sniffing dead butt again. All right, y'all. So we're cooking the white chocolate over double boiler. We're going to make sure it melts. Okay. What do? While that's doing its dang thing, place the chocolate in a large bowl and whisk constantly chicken legs at what that? <laughs> Dare you make fun of the king's legs? Adding a shortening spoon. I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. I was born with a shortening spoon in my mouth because I'm short. I'm standing in the chocolate. Dip balls one at a time into coating. Let excess coating drip off. You have no idea how big they are. Those balls, got it. Oh, my freezer stinks like butt, like dead, deceased, ah. 
cup. These are frozen balls. There's four of them, two guys, one cup. Whoa, nice. Oh my goodness, I might try one. Only the best for my peasant village. That is hot chocolate. Oh, that's a good idea. What if you made something like hot chocolate and you drank it? That's something to think about in a couple hundred years. We're gonna do this weird transition where I transition you from my phone back to the camera. Hello. Okay, dip, I did it one at a time. I did not let the excess coating drip off. My bad. Remove when there is a solid film in refrigerator. Well, let's take a look. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Yet. <laughs> you want me to put my balls in the refrigerator? He said loudly to his new neighbor upstairs. You're really telling me what to do with my body, okay? And I like it. Next, makes the eyes bloodshot. Doesn't. In the last step, place a dot of black gel or black food coloring in the center of the M&Ms for the students. <laughs> I think it meant pupils <laughs> for the eyes. That's such a cornea joke that I would normally make. Super silly. I'll see myself in because it's my kingdom and I make the jokes I want. Ow! My balls! Got my balls. And my M&Ms. I want them to have green eyes, except for you. But who's your daddy? We don't know. Mr. Brown Eyes over here. That's it! Well, that's it. That's Google Translate. Well, let's try it. Let me try this one. Tree beef. Tree beef, but dead beef. Go! Kids! I spit on a kid. So sorry. That's what he's there for. I pay him. I promise. In candy. Yum. Well, that's it. That's Google Translate. If you want to see more Google Translate, don't worry, you're a tyrannical tree beef. I've made a playlist. Oh my gosh. Did I have something on my face this entire time?